How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and as you've seen in the title, uh, this is going to be a one plus three FRP bypass video. Now, I actually don't have this device, but a friend of mine, Ash from C4E Tech reached out to me and he's like, hey, do you know how to do this? I said, well, not officially, but uh, I have some good ideas you can try and he used a couple of those and was able to bypass his one plus three. So, that being said, he went ahead, shot some footage for me, and sent it over so I can show you guys how to do this. Appreciate that, but that all being said, let's go get into this video. The one plus three bypass method. So you can see we're locked out on a Google account here, um, but if you go back, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi first, but then go in here, add a network. If you hold down, on the letters here and hit select all then share then long press the Google app Google right there the Gmail hit notifications go into app settings and then tap here accounts and boom you will launch your settings so from here it's very simple just scroll down here to where you see uh, Google um, and this will allow you to access the search and now feature then go to now cards and show uh, cards right here at the top. Now cards, hit no thanks, and then you can type. So from here we can launch an application, any application technically. We're gonna launch Chrome, and you can accept that, say no thanks to sign in, and then do a web search. So what you're gonna be searching for is my download server, which is rootjunkiesdl.com. And the reason we're going here is because we're going to download the FRP Bypass application. This is an application that uh, I've got and uh, a friend of mine actually whipped up for me um, after I found out some exploits and so that's pretty cool. So you're going to scroll down here to where you see apps and you're going to click on it and then FRP and then the top application should be the Root Junkies FRP Bypass application right here. So we're going to download it and go ahead and update permissions if you need to for Chrome and download the application. Now, what happens here is sometimes there'll be a pop-up telling you that the download is completed. Sometimes there won't. If you don't have a pop-up, it's not a big deal. Just give it enough time for your Wi-Fi speed to download the application. It's very small. It should work easily. And then we're just going to go ahead and go back. So we'll back out and we'll go to keep going keep going and we'll go back to Google now cards again launch it and this time we'll launch a different application the download application this will allow us to see the file we downloaded from here we can go ahead and click to install allow unknown sources here in settings right there there you go and go back and then click it again this time you'll be able to install the application you can accept this pop up if it comes up and once the FRP bypass application is installed, just hit open. Now, from here, you click the three dots in the top, you hit browser login, hit OK, and you add your Google account. Any Google account that you have a username and password, it will sync it to the device, and once it's synced, you'll, you'll basically be past FRP. So you can see it just synced and booted back to the screen. From here, it's very simple, just back out of the phone, and I like to go and look in my accounts and just make sure that account is added. Sometimes accounts will be there and sometimes they won't. It really doesn't matter. Just give it a little time, and do a reboot, and the device will reboot. Now, as you can see here, this is the OnePlus 3, and it is running Oxygen OS 3.0, which is the latest and greatest operating system on the device. We're also on Android 6.1, 6.01 I should say marshmallow so latest software on this device now once this thing reboots it's still going to be on the setup wizard but it's not an issue you're thinking oh it didn't work it didn't work it worked just go through the setup wizard and you're going to see that the options for the setup wizard have changed um, sometimes it'll say you've already logged in with the previous account um, and just let you continue through. Sometimes it won't even show you a different account. It'll just let you go through the setup wizard and complete it and boom, you'll be in. So it can vary a little bit, but see right here, add an account, just hit next. You can see it's very different looking. Fingerprint information, you can just skip through all of these things and it's not an issue at all. 
and then you should be able to just go ahead and pick up do your setup your gestures complete and you're in there you go you have now bypassed FRP or factory reset protection on the OnePlus 3 again here's the settings and you can see the operating system that's on it which is awesome and that's it guys that's gonna wrap up this video and hope you have enjoyed it there you go that's gonna wrap it up for the video hope you've enjoyed it again a huge shout out to Ash from C4 e tech definitely I'll link to his YouTube channel down below he's got tons of great content and again man I really appreciate the footage uh, very very helpful especially when I don't have the device so thank you very much for that. Stay tuned guys for more videos and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out. <laughs>